Welcome to the Physician's Financial Checkup Podcast, where we help doctors navigate the complex world of finance. I'm your host, Brent Bowden, Certified Financial Planner, and today we are going to tackle the top 10 financial concerns of mid to late career doctors. Typically, we're talking your older millennials and Gen X. So if you're looking to secure your retirement, manage your investment risks, we've got you covered. Stick around today because we are going to reveal how to integrated financial plan can help you achieve your goals and ensure a worry-free future. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to the Physician's Financial Checkup Podcast, where we discuss the financial challenges and opportunities facing medical professionals. In this podcast, we'll discuss a variety of financial topics that are important to physicians, such as retirement planning, investing, and estate planning. We will also interview experts in the financial services industry to get their insights on these topics. If you're a physician or a spouse of a physician, I encourage you to listen to this podcast. We will provide you with the information you need to make sound financial decisions and achieve your financial goals. Here's your host, Brent Bowden, a financial coach and certified financial planning advisor with over 15 years of experience helping medical professionals achieve their financial goals. To learn more about Brent Bowden and his services, visit brentbowden.com. Welcome back to another episode of the Physician's Financial Checkup Podcast. I'm your host, Brent Bowden, Certified Financial Planner, and today we are going to do a deep dive into the top 10 financial concerns, fears, and anxieties of those mid to late career doctors. These concerns can be complex, but understanding them is the first step toward creating a robust financial plan that ensures a secure and fulfilling future. So let's get started. So if you are late millennials or Gen Xers, you are probably looking forward to that day where you can retire. And the number one issue that I hear from my clients is that retirement planning and security is one of the biggest concerns. They don't really have an idea if they've saved enough. Are you saving enough? And that starts to become a more pressing issue the older you get. So ensuring that you have enough savings to maintain your current lifestyle or the lifestyle that you envision in retirement can be a huge goal that you want to address. The fear is that you might outlive your savings and face any type of financial insecurity in your older years where you have no earning potential. And so the key to retirement planning and security is start planning as early as possible. A lot of advisors will say, hey, when you get close to retirement five years out, come see us. I tell you, you should always be planning. It doesn't mean that you have to do that on a consistent basis every single year. However, updating your plan every couple of years is hugely important. The earlier you start, having a, a goal that you're trying to reach, whether you're using retirement calculators on your own or you're using an advisor to help estimate and track year by year how much you're saving and if you're on the trajectory to, to, build, to, to meet your desired lifestyle, can be a huge game changer. Secondly is investment management. The concern is that your investment portfolio always has to maximize returns while minimizing risk. And what I'll tell you is that the proper investment portfolio is different for everybody. Understanding market volatility, maybe even poor investment decisions, those can all jeopardize your financial future. So it's essential for you to have a diversified portfolio that's able to understand the risk tolerance that you're able to take on. And oftentimes working with an advisor can help you make the best informed decisions and adjust your investments as you need. One of the biggest things, and we've talked about this before, is I see a lot of people in a target date fund. A target dated fund, if you're looking at the date you retire, that fund is trying to get as conservative as possible by that date. But what if you live another 30 or 40 years past that? That conservative, typically bond or cash related portfolio may only be making three, four, five percent. If you want that money to last another 30 years, you might still need to be in a moderate or balanced portfolio where you're getting six, seven, eight on average over a five or 10 year period. That's a huge difference. Just that one or two percent can make toward your retirement security. 
The third thing we're going to talk about is tax efficiency. You've made really great money. You're in a higher tax bracket. Now, tax efficiency can be a big concern because you want to limit the current tax liability, but you also want to optimize for tax strategies that will give you money in the future. And so understanding exactly what that looks like is different for everybody based on what you've saved and what you've used. You don't want to overpay on taxes, but you also don't want to miss out on potential deductions and credits. And so understanding the tax implications of your investments, retirement accounts, and other financial activities is crucial. And you may need to look at looking at strategies like tax loss harvesting in your brokerage account or utilizing tax advantage accounts where beneficial. All of that tax strategy goes into creating a better income and distribution during retirement. The fourth thing that we see a lot is debt management. Debt management is always a challenge for a lot of doctors, especially those that still have lingering student debt or large mortgages. One of the concerns I see a lot is somebody who wants to pay off as many student loans or mortgages, or maybe even high interest credit card debt. And you fear that you may accumulate more debt or not be able to manage that effectively. One of the things we like to do is we've talked about the avalanche method before, prioritizing high interest rate debts first and considering refinancing options that might be able to lower or consolidate those interest rates into other monthly payments can be a helpful thing. But pay off those high interest rate debts and then start knocking away at the lower ones. Typically, mortgages are one of our lower ones, probably the last thing that we want to look at. But knowing exactly how much you pay each month, how much goes to interest versus principal, can be a huge benefit for managing your debt. The fifth that we look at for our retirees or future retirees is healthcare costs. The concern is that covering those rising healthcare costs for yourself and your family can get outrageous. And we do know that healthcare costs are going up even higher than interest rates. And so if that's a significant concern for you, especially as you start to approach retirement, you may want to understand what medical expenses can be covered through Medicare or other providers, maybe even working a little longer. And then you may want to also look at building up that health savings account, that triple tax benefit to cover future medical expenses in retirement or long-term care insurance. Again, you may be able to self-fund for long-term care, but having some insurance base to help pay for certain expenses, whether that's at home or in a facility, may be beneficial to you in your elder years. Doing that while you're still healthy and getting that coverage now could be a cheaper way to cover those future expenses. The sixth thing that we look at is estate planning. Your estate planning needs as you near retirement are probably very different than they were in your early 30s. So ensuring that your assets are distributed according to your wishes and how are you minimize the estate taxes are going to be a huge benefit in your estate planning. You want to ensure that those assets are distributed correctly. And if you have a complicated financial situation, you want to make sure that they can't face any legal challenges in the future. So working with a estate planning attorney in your area to create an up or update your will, trust, or other essential documents is hugely important as you get toward retirement. And then continue to check on those at least every five years to make sure things haven't changed in your family. Oftentimes, those are built out to allocate for different variances should uh, someone pass away. You'll have backups. So making sure that that still aligns with your goals as far as your estate goes is helpful throughout retirement. The seventh issue we talk about is maintaining lifestyle. A little bit brought up in the early segments of retirement planning and investment management, but as you get closer to retirement, can you still afford your current lifestyle after you stop working? That may include travel, hobbies, family expenses. Anytime you make a sudden change in your financial circumstances that may force a reduction in lifestyle, if you have not accounted for that and regularly reviewed what your budget is, maybe even adjust some spending and saving habits to make sure that you can maintain that lifestyle can always come into jeopardy. So we want to make sure that the earlier we start planning for that is you have an expectation and understanding of what your retirement income lifestyle is going to look like. The eighth thing that we look at is a work-life balance. 
as you're nearing that retirement, is balancing those financial goals with your personal and professional fulfillment is hugely important. Achieving a healthy work-life balance can be crucial for your overall well-being and your longevity. If you continue to burn out over work or you don't feel like you're enjoying your life despite maybe the financial successes that you've made, you need to set some boundaries. Maybe prioritize activities that can contribute to your happiness and well-being. And maybe those are hobbies that you want to start to pick up now so that you can enjoy those into your retirement years. Understanding what is going to affect you is different for everyone. We all want to look toward our overall well-being, and a work-life balance can be a first step toward making that happen. Then, inflation and the cost of living is the ninth thing that we look at for a lot of our clients. Inflation, especially if you've gone through the last year of rising costs, can really erode your purchasing power and savings over time. If you don't have those in the right accounts that they're getting near or close to uh, the savings rate, of inflation right now, then that impact on your purchasing power has significantly decreased. It's called an erosion of wealth over time. Due to those rising living costs, it can really put an impact on what your future income might look like. So you want to invest in assets that typically outpace inflation, such as stocks, real estate, and other alternatives that help protect your purchasing power well into your retirement years. The last thing that we talked to a lot of our clients about, and they have a big concern on, is leaving a meaningful legacy or supporting charitable causes. Philanthropy is a big thing in our family, and making sure that you leave a meaningful legacy in supporting a charitable cause hits right at home. That is often built into a lot of our financial plans for clients, is being able to make significant or at least some sort of impact and provide their family with chosen causes that they have liked to support. When you incorporate philanthropy in your financial plan through donor advised funds, charitable trust, or direct donations, you make an impact on other people's lives that goes well beyond the dollars that you spend there. Hello, listeners. Are you looking to get your finances in order and plan for a secure future? Hi, I'm Brent Bowden, certified financial planning professional, and I'm here to help you navigate the complexities of financial planning. Schedule your complimentary financial analysis introduction call with me today, and let's discuss how we can achieve your specific financial goals and tailor your approach to your needs. Don't miss out on the opportunity to take the first steps toward financial clarity and confidence in your retirement. So reach out now, and let's make your financial dreams a reality. To schedule your complimentary financial analysis today, email me at brent at brentboden, that's B-R-E-N-T-B-O-D-E-N dot com, or simply click the link in the show notes. This is your chance to start a conversation that could change the course of your financial journey. The last thing, this is outside of kind of our top 10, but something that can bring all of these together is integrated financial planning. Each of these concerns that we've talked about are interconnected and addressing them holistically is crucial for the longevity of your financial plan. It's essential that your financial plan considers those factors in addition to other ones that you may personally have concerns about. And working with a financial advisor can ensure that you're not missing any of those aspects that could roadblock your future financial success. The earlier you plan and the regularly that you review it, the better position you'll be to achieve your financial goals and enjoy a secure and fulfilling retirement. So thank you for joining us today on the Physician's Financial Checkup Podcast. If you've got additional questions or comments or maybe need assistance with your financial planning, you can visit brentbowden.com for a complimentary consultation or check the link down in our podcast. Be sure to subscribe to this and leave a comment on what personal finance topics you'd like to hear more about. And remember, proactive planning and regular checkups are the keys to your financial success. Don't leave your financial future to chance. Schedule your complimentary consultation today, and let's get planning. Thank you for listening to the Physician Financial Checkup Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe on your favorite platform and leave a review. You can also find more information on brentbowden.com.
The information contained in this podcast is for educational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. The opinions expressed are solely those of the host and guests and do not necessarily reflect the views of any other individual or organization. You should carefully consider your investment objectives, risk tolerance, and time horizon before making any investment decisions. If you are seeking financial advice, you should consult with a qualified financial advisor who can assess your individual circumstances and needs.